YouTube, man. What's up, fellas? This is a different video I'm going to give you guys, man. The Last Chance Tournament is coming up, and that's on Salary Cap. Now, what the Last Chance Tournament is, it's just one opportunity for one person on each side, whether PlayStation or Xbox, to make the Man Bowl, which is the last tournament in the MCS this year. It's going to be huge because so many people are going to be vying for those last two spots that, that didn't make it in the Man Classic, didn't make it in the, in the Club Championship, and didn't make it in the Man Challenge. So it's going to be all the players that are out competing really going at it. So there's only going to be one winner for each system. And, I mean, the biggest deal for this is there's going to be a leaderboard to qualify, man. The salary cap leaderboard, once they switch over seasons or they reset it, whenever it may be. I'm not sure when it's live. If you know when it's live, you can comment below, man. But, I'm, but I would say if you're in the Madden, if you feel like you're pretty decent at the game, you should be trying to play on these leaderboards. Now, even if you don't even think you can qualify, even if you don't think you can be in the top 100, what it's going to do is going to play you against better competition. And for me personally, that's what took my Madden game to the next level. I was always good at the game for the last 10, 15 years. I was always good. But the opportunity to play against other good people and make me sharpen my skills, you know, and really see what other people are doing and what they're doing differently than me and how I can incorporate that to my game. That's what brought me to the next level. So if you're like a mutt head to head guy and you're all man first string, all man second string, whatever it may be, man, you really should try to find a way to get a salary cap team going and go ahead and get into the get into these leaderboards just to see where you're at, man. And if you need help getting better at Madden, man, MaddenTurf.com. That link is below in the description, man. And if you want to just play for money here and there, check out Players Lounge. That link is also below. You can play for $5, $10, $100, whatever it may be. You can play for money there. Now, like I said, all you guys, I mean, the salary cap team is based off pretty much you got to know what your needs are. And it's a little bit different this year because there's so many different defenses you can run that are kind of viable in the game right now. Uh, a lot with four down linemen and some with three down linemen, and that changes. But we'll get into that as I get into my defense. Um, for me right now, it is about the end of February. It's February 28th right now. And the biggest difference in salary cap now is all these team builder cars that are coming out. So they all have the team builder cars, the ability to have some faster players with lower cap, some players that are pretty decent with lower cap. Or you can go the route and still have Sprinter. I actually have Tier 3 Sprinter on my team right now. That's the route I'm choosing to go with right now. And as you guys know, man, as just as much as your Mutt team, your salary cap team changes constantly. That's how it is for me. I mean, you'll get out of one game and say, man, I need to go ahead and get rid of this player. I need to get a new wide receiver. Or maybe I don't need three superstar wide receivers. Maybe I can downgrade somewhere. Maybe I can, you know, cut corners somewhere else. And that's pretty much how it is every game of salary cap. But I just want to show you guys the team that I put together and a team that's ready to compete right now. I have tier three sprinter. I have three goon wide receivers, but we'll check it out right now. And I'll tell you guys a lot of my thought process going into these players and which ones uh, pretty much which ones are important to me and why I choose these players, man. We'll take a look at my team. We'll start with the offense. Like I said, I have tier three sprinter. That means pretty much every position on my field has to have a sprinter card. So it's hard for me to use anybody that doesn't have a sprinter. And you see that as my offensive lineman. I picked the best pass blocking offensive lineman and upgrade their power-ups till they get that physical chemistry. The physical chemistry gives them sprinter. So a sprinter, so obviously I have Dotson, he's only 20 cap. Uh, and he, I have him as high as, or as low as he can be in cap, that can still have that sprinter. Kevin Zeitler, Rodney Hudson, Joel Batonio, and David Bacchiari. That That's pretty much my four offensive linemen. They are the best pass blockers that I can have. I and mean, we see 20 cap, 22, 20, 21, 20. Now, people say offensive line, man, you need better offensive line. I feel like the game right now is so animation-based, especially with the pass rusher, especially with the shed defense, man. If you guys see the shed defense, a lot of times, uh, you know, you'll go through it, and even your best your best offensive tackles will still get caught in some of those animations where the D end is spinning around them or doing a swim move or a bull rush move, whatever it may be. And I think the way I play right now, these guys can hold up pretty well. And, it, it, you know, it's rare to even find people right now that are really running, you know, super defensive ends. So if, if you have guys with a, you know, decent pass block that can get some things done, they'll be all right. Now you see I use the play fake chemistry. I don't see too many people using play fake. A lot of people like other cams, but I use the play fake mostly because it gives me pass block. So it takes somebody like like DeMar Dotson from like an 82 pass block. Now he's 85 pass block, 87 power, 
and so on and so forth. That's pretty much where why I use play fake. So I can have these guys that are low cap, 20 cap, but they still have the ability to pass block. As you see, Kevin Zeitler all the way up to 87, 90 pass block power. So that guy in the middle, we're not going to get pushed around too much because Zeitler's my guard. And we got Rodney Hudson right here, 85 pass block. So pretty much eight mid 80s, pretty much all the way around on pass block. And they're, they're low cap. They're really cost effective. As you can see over on the right, I'm pretty much balanced between offense and defense in my cap. 554 on offense, 578 on defense. Now, offense, I don't use a tight end. I'm running New Orleans right now. I've been back before between Bunch, between Green Bay, between Seattle's wide trips. But for me, New Orleans is still my best offense that I play against, especially against top-tier competition. And uh, the one thing I love about it is I can use a running back at tight end, you know, and, and that saves me from spending 60, 70 cap on a tight end. I can get a 40 cap running back that will have 90 speed and so on and so forth. And for that, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to use Todd Gurley power up. He's 39 cap. 39 cap, he has sprinter as well. So he gets up to 91 speed right now. Uh, and I use him at tight end. So I throw flat passes, I throw drags, and I, sometimes I throw seams to Todd Gurley. With 91 speed, he's kind of tall. And obviously Todd Gurley, you know, he's probably the best running back in the game. Not necessarily this Todd Gurley, but he just his player in general is pretty decent. I use Joe Mixon the power another power up you know that doesn't isn't a high cap, but still has sprinter. I flex my backup running back. So what I have to do is I have to start Todd Gurley at fullback. So I have to pause the game every time to put him in there. So I have these two running backs, very low cap, but uh, but I don't really run the ball that often. And Joe Mixon can still spin move, which is 82 th threshold. If you have an 82 spin, you can spin do the good spin move on all Madden. And as you see, it's 89 speed. So as far as me, as far as every once in a while sneaking a running back flat pass and Joe Mixon can get it done, Tiger. So that's a lot of cap I save right there personally. You might run something else where you need a tight end or you need a better running back. That will suck up some of your cap. But for me, I have two sprinter. Obviously, Michael Vick, we have conductor. I, man, I, I didn't use conductor early in the year, but I got so used to it. It's such a weapon. And Michael Vick's always going to be the best quarterback in the game. I don't want to debate any of that. Then we have where we put our money pretty much. Calvin Johnson, fully powered up Calvin Johnson, fully powered up Randy Moss, fully powered up Julio Jones. I mean, the way the game is with aggressive catching, throwing the ball high, one-hand catches, high points, you know, not, not getting hit that hard because you have big bodies. Just the way I think the game should be played right now. And because the one thing about Tyreek Hill is that, you know, he, he obviously he was one of the best cards in the game when he was faster than everybody. Now you come down here, pretty much all my receivers have, uh, Moss has 99 speed, Calvin and Julio have 98. So it's like, what's the point of Tyreek Hill if he's just if he's just as fast as them, but he's way shorter? So that's why I, that's where I pretty much have all my cap. And as you can see here, I have what? I have five sprinters here. Each card that's over 95 on your team, if you want to do the tier three sprinter, has to have a uh, double sprinter. So Calvin has double, Mo, uh, Vic has double, Moss has double, and Julio has double. Mixon and Gurley both have regular sprinter. So that's my offense I'm rolling out there. Like I said, it's less than my defense, but I think it's really strong. My offensive line can hold up. I have three superstar wide receivers, the best quarterback in the game, and two solid options for underneath passes can get a couple yards here and there. Now defensively, we're gonna have we're gonna have a power up all defensive line. Similar to what I said about the offensive line is that it's a lot animation based. So Khalil Mack is pretty much going to get some of those same animations as he would if he was at 80 cap. You know, 25 Khalil Mack, he has like 80 power move, about 78 speed, something like that. But he's still going to have the same traits and everything that the regular Khalil Mack has. Same with Miles Garrett and Alan Page. Now, we, like I said, if we're going to do sprinter, all these guys have to have sprinter. So they're, tier, they're powered up to the lowest possible cap when they can still have sprinter. So that's pretty much where I'm at with that. All your backups have to be 10 caps. I use this Brandon Jackson guy because I believe he has 67 speed. He's better than a, a 60 speed power up. Uh, but like I said, Alan Page and Miles Garrett, Khalil Mack, all powered up. They're not that good. If I want to generate pressure, I'm, they're not going to be able to get a good pressure with three man rush. Going to have to send some heat. Uh, like I said, and now we go with. We, I have four superstars in the secondary. I have Cam Chancellor. Ask me. I'm in love with Cam Chancellor right now. He's 87 cap. That's a lot of cap. But he's 6'3", with the with the sprinter tier 3, 95 speed. He's 6'3", 99 hit power, 98 zone. 
He's just probably the most consistent player I've seen that really smacks people and causes fumbles. Then I have Jamal Adams. I don't have the full Jamal Adams because I have such a tier tier up in, in speed. We can get him to 97 speed, 67 cap. He can also hit. Got that, that 6'1", that's decent height. Can get things done. So I have Cam, Jamal Adams, Jalen Ramsey. I mean, if you guys watch any of my games, you can watch them twitch.tv slash dub dot. Jalen Ramsey, for me, has been the best secondary player all year. I mean, just his height, his ability to get to football, swat the ball, pick it off, everything, and still provide a little bit of action as far as hitting is concerned. Definitely a stud. That's one of the reasons I will always use this Jalen Ramsey. Not the full Jalen Ramsey. The full Jalen Ramsey is just like another point of speed, I believe. Just playoff edition Jalen Ramsey. As you see, the cards with the high cap on my team all have double sprinter. Cam, Jamal Adams, Jalen Ramsey, and the, the fourth one I have, Marshawn Lattimore right now. Been flirting with who I want to use as the fourth DB, man. Let me guys, let, let me know who you guys think would be a good option. I'm flirting between Lattimore and Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller, uh, as you see, this Lattimore is 97 speed, 96 zone. Real good ratings. But I'm thinking about going with this Kyle Fuller. He's going to be seven less cap, going to have the same speed, same height. And the one thing about Kyle Fuller, if you guys know, man, he's got 70-plus hit power. That team of the year card, I believe, at 83 hit power. So he can definitely pop a little bit. I mean, I would use all safeties, but the thing is I need to have some corners. If I want to do the sprinter thing, I have to pretty much play everybody in position. Now, from there, now I so those are pretty much my four outside shell guys. My two safeties, two outside corners. Michael, whatever, wherever I choose to play them, Ramsey, Lattimore, uh, Jamal Adams, and Cam Chancellor. Then I have to have my inside guys. My my linebackers, if I'm running three through five, if I'm running nickel normal, if I'm running dollar, whatever it may be. And these are my two guys that I'm going to use right here. I have 36 cap Brian Dawkins and 31 cap Eddie Jackson, man. They have the sprinter badge. Uh, Eddie Jackson is the lowest cap possible to have sprinter. It takes up a little bit of cap. Gets up to 90 speed. Six foot tall. Decent hit power. Rating's not that great, but but with 90 speed, you can play linebacker for me. I mean, a lot of these guys I'll be blitzing a lot, especially a nickel normal, 335 normal, dollar, stuff like that. A lot of spying with these guys. Uh, they can tackle good enough, and, and they're low cap. 36 cap for Brian Dawkins. Obviously, Brian Dawkins, you guys know, man, 87 zone, that 80 hit power. Both of them 80 plus hit power. Both can tackle over 70, so it's they're not great cards, but for the cap, they'll definitely do their job. Then I have Darius Slay. I'm definitely going to change this card out. I believe Marlon Humphrey is the one I want to come up. But 34 cap, this corner has to have a sprinter as well. I'm, I'm kind of hamstrung because of the sprinter thing. And they, they also, uh, I mean, you got to be able to play people in their positions. I would love to have another safety here, but because I need that sprinter. And uh, I use the lockdown chem on defense. Lockdown chem is going to give me, uh, you know, zone and man coverage. That's pretty much all I care about. I want to boost my secondary players up as much as possible. So I have these two linebackers, Brian Dawkins, Eddie Jackson. My slot corner is going to be Darius Slay. Uh, 34 cap is just a steal right there. He has 90 zone, 91 speed. Darius Slay is still one of the best budget players in the game. The user right there is Sean Taylor. The reason I have a linebacker user, one, because I need these guys for the sprinter. I need Sean Taylor for a sprinter. But one reason I have a linebacker user, man, because one, and the best thing about this Sean Taylor card is that he's a right outside linebacker. He's way more versatile than a middle linebacker would be. So Sean Taylor is going to play my goal line set. He's going to be my middle linebacker and goal line. He's going to be my middle linebacker in 3-3-5 normal. He's going to be my defensive end in nickel normal, which is huge. If he was a middle linebacker, I could never put him at defensive end. I would have to play a 10 cap if I tried to run nickel normal or over G. But if I want to just drop down into nickel normal or nickel over G, I can push Sean Taylor at the end. And then I can put, you know, Allen Page, Khalil Mack at the tackle and Miles Garrett at the other end. User these two linebackers, so I really don't lose any of my personnel. By him being a right outside linebacker is way, way more versatile for my defense. That's why I choose to use this Sean Taylor here instead of anywhere else. I know a lot of people are running around with the Sean Taylor, the um, team built or the ultimate legend, the 59 cap, 95 speed. He's a super stud for sure. But the one thing about him, man, if you ever drop down to 3 4, if someone's running on you, or like I said, if you're inside the one yard line and you have to go to goal line package, he is not available to play middle, middle linebacker for you. This Sean Taylor is. So I think it's a huge plus that I have that allows me to be able to move this Sean Taylor around from defensive end to outside linebacker to middle linebacker. Way more versatile than just strictly a middle linebacker player. So that's why I choose to use him. 
Now, all these things can change, but pretty much if I want to keep this tier three sprinter, what you guys see here over here on the right, I have tier three sprinter right now in my salary cap team. I'm at 111.74 salary cap. So things are looking good, man. I'm let you guys know every time my team updates, or I do a major change. I'm going to let you guys know. And then another thing I also have, man, listen, if they're not going to make a ruling on it, I'm going to have this guy on my team for the leaderboards. Coach John Madden. Uh, Ghost is actually my uh, visual coach, but Coach John Madden, man, if they're not going to make a ruling as far as you're going to use John Madden or not, I have played enough Mutt, and I think everybody that's playing the leaderboards should have played enough Madden this year to be able to acquire a John Madden head coach. You know, and I'm on, on tier four John Madden, so I had the speed, I had a little boost in zones and stuff like that. So it's definitely something that, that is kind of a debate this year on, on, you know, he doesn't cost any cap. So if that's what they chose to do, you should 1,000% have him on your lineup. So that, so that's pretty much uh, where I'm at with my team and, and the things that are going on. Like I said, as far as John Madden, man, if they're going to allow you to use him, you should use him. Don't ever think twice about it, man. I, obviously, if you get to the live event, the, you can't use Coach John Madden. You can still use Tier 3 Spinner, but, man, don't worry about <laughs> getting to the live event. Worry about winning games online now, man. And if you have Coach Madden, Go ahead and use them, man, because I know I'm going to use them. And, and like I said, if you're if you're just starting to compete or you want to learn how to compete, this is the best way, man. See what you got, even if you get blown out. That's how we all started, man. Even the best players in the world. I know me personally, I can remember the first time I got blown out online in Madden. The first time I got blown out in person in Madden. And those things for me fueled me to get better. And, and it's nothing to really be scared at. It's nothing to be ashamed of playing on an online leaderboard and losing because we have all been there, man. So if you really are just getting in the mad or you're really just, you know, if you think you're pretty decent, you beat your friends, you win a couple Super Bowls here and there, and you see these guys on the TV and you want to compete like them, this is the first step. It's hopping in the salary cap leaderboards, making a salary cap team, and seeing what you got, man. And, and to me, this is the best mode man ever introduced because we're constantly changing our team. You have to find out where you want your weakness, where you want your strengths, and pretty much it, it's not just mutt. It's not all about who can buy the most cards, who can put them out there, and, and who can go ahead and compete. I mean, it's pay-to-play to an extent, but at this point in the year, if you've been playing mutt this long, you have more than enough coins, more than enough training to go ahead and make yourself a team. So make yourself a team. Let me know what you think of this video. If you want more videos like this, I without a doubt, we'll do them. Just want to make sure everybody knows what they need to know to compete because com competition is the best thing for men. And the more people compete and the more this game can thrive. And ultimately, that's all we all want.